the soul of India lives in its villages. Their growth translates into the real growth of the nation. Their confidence is the cornerstone of democracy. And it's their desperation that makes the nation desperate. Like this village in the hinterlands of Mewad in Haryana. For villagers, governance had been something remote and inaccessible. Something meant for others. To address this situation, Sehgal Foundation came up with its Good Rural Governance Program in 2008 to empower village citizens and their institutions. On the one hand, the foundation strengthens village institutions by reviving panchayats, school management committees, and village health, sanitation, and nutrition committees. The foundation team disseminates knowledge, facilitates village development plans through micro-planning exercises, and prompts communities to regularly hold Mahila Sabhas and Gram Sabhas. The institutions develop their villages by increasing access to government programs that provide basic service and rations. On the other hand, Segal Foundation's Good Governance Now initiative reaches out to villagers to make them aware of rights, such as right to education and right to information and poverty alleviation programs specifically meant for them, such as the ration distribution system and the right to demand work through Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. These initiatives empower citizens and institutions to promote good rural governance at the grassroots. By drawing public attention to the proper functioning of government programs, the initiatives also strengthen local officials' commitment to good governance. Sehgal Foundation aims to make good rural governance into an all-India movement through linkages and collaborations with communities NGOs, foundations, universities, and law schools. The foundation's team trains NGOs for replication of good governance programs in other districts and states. It works with law school clinics to spread legal awareness and access to legal aid. The foundation organizes conferences and seminars jointly with universities and law schools to motivate students to spread the movement. Within a few years, the communities see the results of good governance, improved attendance at schools, healthier midday meals, better quality Anganwadi childcare services, and transparent and accountable implementation of projects by institutions and more responsive government officers. These villagers and their institutions, proud of their newly acquired sense of empowerment, now know what it's like to live with dignity. Unlike them, thousands of villagers in India are still groping in the dark and waiting for the light of awareness to arrive. They have to belong, participate and contribute to the mainstream of development if India has to realize her dream of inclusive growth. All they need is the knowledge to bring the change.